You've been diagnosed with diabetes. You are not alone in your journey and we can help. Davis County Health Department presents our diabetes series to share how you can move forward with the tools and resources needed to support your health and well-being. You may have heard the term carbohydrates and wondered why they are so important when it comes to diabetes. A carbohydrate is a nutrient found in many foods and is a main food group. Out of all the food groups, eating carbohydrates, or carbs, affects our blood sugar the most. Knowing how many carbs you eat is one of the best ways to know how well you are managing your diabetes and your health. When we eat carbs, they are broken down into a sugar called glucose. Glucose gives us energy, but with diabetes, the sugar gets stuck in the bloodstream and cannot move it into the cells. The more carbs you eat, the more glucose stays in your blood. This is called high blood sugar. When your blood sugar is high consistently, this creates many health concerns along with diabetes. To keep your glucose levels steady, it is important to balance how many carbs you eat. This number will be based on your weight, age, and how active you are. A registered dietitian, certified diabetes educator, or your primary care provider can help you with this. There are three types of carbohydrates, starches, fibers, and sugars. Remember that you want to fill a quarter of your plate with one of these, with the other sections full of non-starchy vegetables and lean protein sources. As we talk through each carbohydrate, keep in mind that there may be some overlap. Starchy carbohydrates include some vegetables, beans, lentils, and grains. Opt for foods like squash, whole grain tortillas and breads, plantains, green peas, and lentils. The great thing about starches is that choosing whole grain options will raise your blood sugar more slowly than choosing refined options. Let's look at an example. Here we have one flour tortilla made with whole grains and another made with refined grains. If you are not sure which type of grain you are choosing, you can always look at the ingredient list on the nutrition label. A whole grain includes the entire grain of a plant, which contains specific vitamins and fiber. Look for the word whole in the ingredient list. A refined grain has parts of the grain removed. Through this process, a refined grain does not have the same nutritional quality as a whole grain. You may see the words refined or enriched on the ingredient label. In this case, choosing the whole grain tortilla on the left would be the better choice for managing your blood sugar. Fiber is a complex carbohydrate found in foods and includes vegetables, beans, lentils, fruits, nuts, and grains. It is a great choice when building your plate and gives plenty of options like oatmeal, berries, broccoli, and other whole grains like whole grain pasta. Fiber doesn't break down in our body like other nutrients. Because of this, your digestion can move along and you can stay full for longer. It also lowers your cholesterol, your blood pressure, and your blood sugar. These benefits really help with weight management and overall gut health. Let's talk about it. Here we have two options for carrots, carrot juice and a raw carrot. While both contain carrots, they are not nutritionally equal. Many juices contain additives like other fruits, syrups, or preservatives. The carrots in the juice also most likely do not contain outer skin, which is where the majority of the fiber is. One serving of carrot juice is eight ounces with about 70 calories and one gram of fiber. The raw carrot does include the vitamin and fiber-rich outer skin and is very low calorie. 100 grams of carrots, which is equivalent to an 8-ounce drink, is about 40 calories and 2.8 grams of fiber. This makes it the best option because it has the most fiber compared to its calories. Sugar carbohydrates can be tricky. These include fruits, milk, corn syrup, honey, sugar, and sweeteners. Keep in mind that it is okay to enjoy sugar carbohydrates every once in a while, but it is best to limit them when possible since they will cause the biggest jump in your blood sugar. Some fruits are also very high in natural sugar. For example, one mango has about 45 grams of sugar and one orange has about 10 grams. While both contain amazing vitamins, minerals, and fibers, the orange may be the better choice when counting carbohydrates 
and monitoring your blood sugar. Let's build a plate together. A whole grain flour or corn tortilla is a great starchy choice to fill with your favorite lean protein with a side of grains and vegetables. Or add some hummus, nuts, and carrots with your high fiber bell peppers for a filling snack or meal. Adding fruit like oranges in the morning to a breakfast plate is also a nutritious way to add sugar to your day and manage your blood sugar. If you are not sure where to begin when choosing a carbohydrate, think of these carbohydrates in a pyramid. Begin the base of the pyramid and your plate with more non-starchy vegetables and fiber carbohydrates. Eat some starchy carbohydrates and eat less sugar carbohydrates. This will put you on your way to choosing nutritious carbohydrates that will lower your blood sugar and give you the nutrients you need to continue your day. Learning about and understanding carbohydrates can feel overwhelming. Focus on the meals you eat regularly and see if you can make small changes to include more fiber rich and whole grain carbohydrate options. Follow along to our next video on carbohydrate counting, where we will talk about how to determine the number of carbohydrates each food has and how to keep track of how many you eat. If you want to learn more or have any questions, click on the link below for more information and resources.